everyone, this is John. I'm here to show you how to do for Jutora editing. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is we opened up the Jutora program. We have File, uh, View, and Create. Click on Create. Go all the way down to the Draw Package. Open existing image and click OK. Now I'm going to see if I can find my image that I want. We'll go down to find the one that I want. Bull riding is the one that I want. So we'll click on that. Hopefully it's not the edited version. It does not appear to be the edited version. And it has opened it up into paint. Now if you look at it, there is grays and stuff in here. Uh, if I zoom in the 200% you can see in the reds and stuff that there are actually multiple colors of reds. These are what they are called pixels. So what we're going to do is if I tried to say change all of this gray to one color, it won't let me. I'll do one pixel at a time. So, to fix that, so I can change all of them at one time, I am going to actually reduce the colors in this image because right now there's thousands and thousands of colors. So we go to color reduction, which are your three arrows down, uh, reduce two, bring it down to ten, uh, bring it down to, sorry, four, and hit suggest. It should be black, gray, white, and red. And hit OK. Now that's applying the filter to the image. It'll filter out all of those uh, pixels into one solid reds, one solid whites, one solid black. But the pixels, I think, did fix themselves. So now if I zoom into 200%, if I click on the gray, all of it will go, not just a little pixel. All of it will go. Now when you're doing this, be very careful. Like in this area right here, I have a horn. If I click this white, all of my bowl would turn white. So I need to go over here and grab this tool and I need to go from the black to the white and go from there to there. Now I can go back to my paint bucket and click on it and it will only get rid of the gray. And I have one over here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And that. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Now I still have the R to do. Zoom in. And we'll do the R. And I think the R is completely done. Now I noticed that in my bull riding, some of the uh, words and stuff are closed up. What we need to do is we need to open those up so it looks like an S. And I'm not doing this all fancy or anything. I mean. If I wanted to, I could have all the letters looking perfect and all that. Uh, but this is just a demonstration. 
of how to clean up a little bit. I mean, the more you clean up, the better your design's gonna come out digitized. Okay. There was a few other areas on the bowl that I needed to take care of. So I'm going to click back to my white. Go back to my tool. And I'm going to go from there down to his horn. And from there to his horn. And then from there to his horn. And all of this will, you'll see exactly what it's going to do. It's going to clean up a lot of areas around the bowl that we wouldn't want all these little gray areas because it's just added work and added uh, time as far as thread changes and stuff. Go back to your little dropper. Drop. Drop. And that takes care of him. And now up to the bull rider. We'll go back to my little tool. We'll go from there to there. And then we just take our little paint bucket and we fill in those. And I'm going to change that to hair. And I am done except for changing the white. We want to change the white because it's the same color as the background and it will stitch out as background color. So we're changing all of the white to blue. So it recognizes it in our design. Okay, oops, go back, 33%, all of it's done. Now we can close, save changes to images, and we will save it as a BMP under images in Futura, and save. Okay, now it's saved it. Now we can close this out. We'll open up a new page. Open up our auto punch. Click next. Select image. It's not under here, so we need to go where it's at, which is under C drive. Under Futura. Under images.
and I know it's a M BMP so I'll do that and it's right there and click OK and then I click next and then I click next and I switch it from centimeters to inches you know our maximum width is about 4.5 might be a little bit more but that works for me click next now we need to reduce the colors down to 5 it was 4 but it's 5 now you have black gray red blue and white so you want to do five colors and do suggest and then hit next hit next again ah, now I can go and click next now when I click on these this part will be fill 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 now that's column which is fine that's part of the B uh, that's column I'm going to change that to fill and click next and finish and there's your design play it out Let's see how it plays out By stitching it out first, I can see what I want done. How? What's that? It's done. And it looks good. Click on view again. Undraw. And there's your realistic view of what it's going to look like when it's done. Save. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you is that you can go to File and Save As in FHE that is Futura Home Embroidery so FHE is also an embroidery format for the Futura not just the XXX the XXX is most commonly used but a better format for the Futura program is FHE that's Futura Home Embroidery and uh, if you see those designs at different websites, uh, I would choose the either the FHE or the XXX over any of the other ones because those two there will give you the right color choices as far as your threads go. Uh, and I want to just close this out for a second and bring up the tools. This is your stitch color block and it tells you the color of the threads and you can change that to quote in Clark Rayon. I have uh, brothers but I have a conversion sheet from the Rayon numbers to the brother numbers so whenever I do mine I always have it in this and then I'll uh, look at my chart and I'll pick out the right colors that I need to do it although I know that the blue here will be white in my, in my design so hopefully that has helped you